Good morning, class. We will start at 8.10. So, by 8.10, mag so good na kita.
Okay, good morning class. So, magsugod na ta. It's already 8.10 a.m. So, you are pilang kabok 17. So, magsugod na ta. So, last na tong uh, lecture video no, nga kong gihatag. It's all about uh, arithmetic statement katong uh, tong mga operations sa C katong pag print F, pag scan F, uh, pag declare of variables, pag himo og um C statements no. Um I hope na inyo na to siyang na nasabdan og tarong because uh mo proceed na to sa next topic and mind you if wala pa kay mo na gets ato and then mo proceed na ta aning next topic mas lisod ni siya mas 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 maglisod mo if wala kayo mo naka naka uh, grasp sa concept atong last topic na to so if you have a question from the last nga topic pwede mo mga ta na karon para at least before ta mo proceed uh na namoy medyo prepared na di na kayo maglisod. Okay, so naabay pangutana. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm assuming na nakasabot na mo ato no. Uh, kung pa programun mo na ako o kaning mga simple code such as to perform mathematical operations on certain variables, uh, makakode na mo at the same time if I ask you to to print something, to print a certain pattern or to ask users for input, makabalo na mo. Okay, so now let's proceed to conditional logical expression and selection control structures. So this topic is, uh, this is the overview, so this is the content of the topic. First is we will talk about control structures. We already talked about this, uh, conditions and logical expressions, the if statement, nested if statement, decision steps in algorithms, the if else statements, and the nested if else statement. So, in the control structures, recall that we have three the sequential, selection, and repetition. So, I think we are already done with sequential. I already discussed the basics of sequentials. Katong mga, mga statements, raman na sila nga mag-resonant. No? Uh, just like katong pag-printf, pag-scanf, katong pag-perform ng operation, pag-declare, uh, sequential to sila. And C is basically a sequential language. So, I think you have, I think, na grasp na ninyo ang concept sa sequential. Now, let's proceed sa selection. So, if statements, logical operations are used on uh, selection control structure. So, basically, kaning selection is um, a control structure in which your code can decide or a program can decide what to do next depending on the condition given. Okay. So, these are the conditions and logical expressions of C. So, true is always equal to integer value 1. So, sa ato pa, if true, uh, equivalent na siya sa integer, uh, integer ng 1. If false, it is, ah, this is not 2, this is actually 0. Ako sa siyang edit ha. So, this is 0. Okay. So, false is equivalent to integer 0. So, muraragya po ni sila o kaning mga integer values si true o si false. So, thus, each conditional expression returns an integer 1 if true and an integer 0 if false. So, keep that in mind na every time na mag-condition mo, if true, it is always equals to 1. If false, it is always equals to 0. Integer na sila. So, if for example, true plus false is equals to true. False plus false is equals to 0 because their value is uh, treated as an integer. Man. 
Okay. So, here is the common expressions. I'm wondering mga expressions good to see gamit sa ilang conditions. So, if you want to test if two numbers are equal or if two variables has the same uh, content or value, kani nga symbol imong gamin yung gamiton. Okay? Double nga equal. So, this is read as is x. x is equals to y. If you want to check if the two values is not equal, so kani siya nga symbol in yung gamiton, um, exclamation point and an equal. So this means not equal and this means equal. Okay? And then we have the less than. No, If you want to test if x is less than y, and this one is greater than, which indicates if x is greater than y. This indicates x less than or equal to y. That is, if x is mas gamay or equivalent siya sa value ni y, and then x is greater than or equal to y. Okay? So, is kung kanin yung gamiton, and for example, x and y has the same value, mong false ni siya because less than naman siya or greater than naman siya. O maka nag-indicate of equal. So, if for example, x is equals to 5 and y is equals to 5. And if you want to test using this one, just the less than, the answer for this is always false. But if kung less than or equal, no, maka true ni siya since equal man si x sub si y if both of them are of the same value, 5. Okay, so keep in mind ha, uh, kung equal gani ang value tapos gani inyong gamiton, it is always false. Pero kung gani, na pa chance mo true because appeal man sa condition ang equal. Okay, also conditional operations evaluate can be also evaluate, evaluated from left to right. So Example, if you are presented with this expression, x less than y less than z, it is just like saying, o na ako si x sub y pag-evaluate, and then once I evaluate na ako si x sub y, ako na day evaluate ang result ni x sub y kang z. So, pa left to right siya. Now, na pa mas higher uh, precedence an, you know, once we once I introduce logical expressions later, but in this uh, conditional expression, left to right din ang iyang pagka evaluate. Okay, so here's uh, an important note that you should consider. No, now uh, consider this code. So you have your main here, tapos na kay x is equals to 1, y is equals to 2, and z is equals to 3. Now, I want to print if uh, x is greater than y and y is greater than... Uh, um, um, I think na typo ko ano, no? So, this is x. This should be x, not z. So, x is greater than y and y is greater than z. x ni siya, ha? Okay, murag. Asa akong... Pero katugong tingali ko ano nag... Okay, so this is X ni siya. X. Hmm. Okay, so x na siya, nasasayap ko, type ko bi. So, this is to check if x is greater than y and y is greater than z. So, what do you think is the output of this program? Para sa inyo. One, ma'am. One. Okay. One. Final na ng one. Yes, Okay, so consider kanisya nga nga kaninga 
thought that true is equals to 1 and then false is equals to 0. Evaluated from left to right. So if we solve this, no? Aning iyang itsura. So uh, basically the output is 0. Nga nang 0 man. Now, x is uh, equals to 1, y is equals to 2, two and z is equals to 3. Nabali lagi ko dari ay. X, y, z. Nabali ko. Okay. X is greater than y, y is equals to z. So nabali ako solution dari ay. Basin na isakto pa itong 1. Bali di ako solution dari. Okay, so x is x, y, z. Man to kaganina, no? So, this is x, y, z. So, x, dari adi ang x. Dari ang x. Dari ang z. Okay, so x, dari ang z. So, X, Y, Z. So, X is pila value ni X. X is 1. And Y is 2. Z is 3. Ito ba? X, Y, Z. Yes. So, is 1 greater than 2? It is false. So, is 1 greater than 2? Is false. So, Z is 3. So, this is 3. Okay. So, yung ano yung solution? Ito siyang isubstitute ng mga variables sa ilang actual na value. So, X is equals to 1. Y is equals to 2. Z is equals to 3. As you can see, 1 is greater than 2. This is false. Hindi mo din natin nood. So, this is 0. Now, z is 3. Okay? Z is also an integer. So, pwede na gihapon na ito na siya i-evaluate sa greater than. So, is 0 greater than 3? It is false. So, the answer is 0. So, ang anak na siya. Um, in this solution, atog yung, atog yung tanawon ang mga values sa ato ang variable. Do kung tanawon na to no uh, is is sakto mapud siya di ba so x is not greater than y and y is not greater than uh, z kay x is equals to 1 y is equals to 2 and z is equals to 3 man na kung ato ni siyang balihon tong balihon ha example lang if for example is z unya x dia so, in this case, dapat 1 ang answer ane, di ba? Kay z is equals to 3 man, tapos y is equals to 2, niya x is equals to 1. So, in the sense, sakto siya kay mas taku man si x kang kang y, niya mas taku man si y kang kang z. So, kung ato na siyang ibali, no? So, this is 3, and this is 1. So, this is still... 1 na niya siya because 3 is greater than 2 man. Diba? And then, this is 1. Now, um, kung tanawan na to, this is also false gihapon. Diba? Because 1 is not greater than 1. Di man sila, equal man sila. So, in this condition, false gihapon. Do ang sense niya diri kung atong tanawan is true man na siya. Pero pag ito siyang uh, isolve no mano-mano, makita na to ang solution na ang answer niya is false. So, di rin na makakita og ambiguity when it comes to using in any nga mga statements wherein we are uh, using mga three or more variables na um, walay parenthesis or walay kanang separation bar. Inyo na siyang gidarit so og uh, gamitan og conditions. So, makakita na mo dira og na something wrong sa inyong result. So, if ing ana, inyo din na siyang tanawon no, non yun ninyo, o inyong i-evaluate, inyo, mas mayog inyo ha, yun siyang isolve, no? O sakto ba yun ka ha, ang mugawas nga uh, result. So, in this case, kung kanin inyong tanawon, sure na yun mo, nga true naman yun eh. 
but here ko ato siya so as we can see false amigos okay so kaganina pod ah uh, katong kaganina na kong example also false food to dumurag true siya tanawon but the solution is not the same as what we thought so in that case if for example mag need mo compare sa tulo ka variable no ah uh, There is another way on doing that. It is by using logical operators. So, kaning logical operators, mo connect ni sila o condition sila ang bali. Uh, o mo connect sila mo, mo hatag sila, mo hatag sila opportunity wherein maka himo mo o multiple conditions, makabutang mo multiple conditions in one statement. No? O makagive po siya o one nga isara ka result. So, these are the three basic logical operators. It's C, the AND, the OR, and the NOT. So, si AND is double, doha ka ingani, doha ka AND, doha ka ampersand, bana siya. Tapos si OR is doha ka kaning bar, and then si NOT is an exclamation point. Okay? So, how to use them? Una ta kang AND operator. So, si end operator, yung nga niyang iyahang through table, no? Okay, so, yung nga niyang iyahang operator, no? Uh, si end operator. If, parara nagyapon sa inyo hang si, sa... Logic, no? Katong naka si SC102 na diya, ah. Itong mahuman na. Um, kung true and true, the result will be true. True and false, the result is false. False and true, the result is false. False and false, the result is false. So, basically, kung sa duha ka operator na, miskin isa lang ka false, the result is all false. Okay? So, dapat mo true ra siya if ang duha ka operator is true ana si end operator okay so the syntax is that we have conditions and use this one to connect the other conditions and we use the end symbol again to connect two or more operations until the end i until the end conditions there so example we have this one a is equals to 12 and this is a condition connected with the next condition and then Pwede sa daghan, no? So, this is a condition, and condition, tapos end condition. So, again, uh, ang precedent sa ni is left to right. If you have three ends here, so kanisa yung unahon. And then, after evaluating this one, kanina dayo. So, ang result ani, iyang unang guha. Tapos, ang result ani, yan ding i-end na po sa result ani. Okay? So, os, pwede rasa di mo magbutang ang parenthesis, but basically, mas disod siya sabtun, disod siya sa tanahon. Okay, medyo gubot if di mo magbutang ang parenthesis, kaya di mo makakita o atong kondisyon, o di makraro ang inyong logical operator. Okay? So, yung ana, pagamit si end operator. Next is si or operator. So, si or, uh, basta lang kay na true, mo true na na siya. Mo false ra siya if ang duhagid ka operand is false. So, here, kung makita na to, if true o true, true. If true o false, since na may true, true na siya. If false o true, since na may true sa second operator, operand, true na siya. If false ang duha, false na na siya. Okay? So, keep in mind, si or, basta lang kayo na yung true sa duha ka condition, ay duha ka operand, mo true na na siya. So, the syntax is that you have condition and then use the or symbol and then condition and so on and so forth. Okay? So, pwede rin na you can add as many conditions as possible. Okay? So, yung ano siya paggamit niya po. So, if this one or this one. If A is equals to 12 or B is less than 5. So, you can also add more, no? Again, the same rin sila sa katong kaganina, left to right ang evaluation. So, unahonin niya, tanawan ang result. 
And then, a result din ani, compare na din niya dere. I-or din niya dere. Okay? You could also, di nasa, you could also uh, not put parenthesis. So, depende na na sa inyo ha. And lastly, the not operator. So, si not operator is just uh, to test if a condition is, is, is the opposite, no? So, kaning true, imo niya ang result of false. Tapos ang false, imo niya ang result of true. So, basically, mura niya ug switch, no? Kung ang condition true, switch niya ang result into false. If ang condition is false, good, switch niya ang condition into true. So, for example, kani siya, no? If false to 12, if this is true, ang result sa entire statement ani kay yamang ginat is false. Okay? If, pareha po nani, if A is less than 12, if this is true, no, if this is false, no, assuming this is false, since ginat man niya, ang result ano niya is true. Pwede sa disara ka variable lang yun yung hang i-test. No? If this is, if x is true, or if x is 1, if it is not, himonia na o 0 as false. Okay? So, in ana si not operator, we use the exclamation point before the conditions. Okay. So, here is the precedence of the logical operator. Uh, una is the not. Una ho niya pag-evaluate si not, adesertious, and then next is the end, and then lastly is the or. Okay. So, kung makita siya una o not, not iyang una evaluate So, nag si end and then si or. And basically, left to right, gihapon siya. If na ay parenthesis, parenthesis ang iyang unahon. Okay? So, here is an example. So, assuming we have this variables, age is equals to 10, height is equals to 45, and we want to test this condition. If age is less than 12 and height is less than 48 or age is greater than 65 and height is greater than 72. So, so here is the solution. Okay? So, una, itong isubstitute ng mga variables sa ilang value para mas dali rin na itong magkita, no? mas dali rin ma-evaluate. So, si age is equals to 10 and height is equals to 45. Okay? So, ito na siyang gi-substitute diri. Now, let's test. Let's uh, find the solution. So, is 10, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, is 10 less than 12? This is true. So, this is 1 here. Is 45 less than 48? Okay, this is true. So, this is 1. Okay, note ha, nga ang conditions kani moy una i-evaluate adserta mag adser niya i-evaluate ang tibok end okay so dili siya ingon nga kani and tapos kana tapos ang kani dayon diri atanan mo evaluate niya kang 48 dili anahon sa niya tong mga conditions adser niya ang end okay so in this case since this is true and this is true the answer for this is and one and one, or true and true is true. So, muna siyang one siya diri. Now, let's proceed sa second diri sa kaduha. Since nakakuha naman tag result diri, again, left to right man ta. So, diri. So, nahuman na ta sa left side, diri na punta sa right side. So, we have uh, 10 greater than 65 and 45 greater than 72. This is all false because 10 is not greater than 65. And 45 is clearly not greater than 72. So, 0 or false and false is always false. So, we have false as a final answer. And now, ato na dayo ni siyang e or since naka parenthesis man, as you can see, parenthesis ang doha. So, sa ato pa, kanisa ay yung unahon ang mga naka parenthesis. Adiser niya ay operate tong kani. If, for example, wala na yung naka parenthesis, no, kani, 
Ugan eh, wa sa nakaparentesis left to right ni siya. So, ang mahitabo, ang result aning diri a, ah, i-or niya sa kanilang, kanilang duha. Okay? Okay, wala man nakaparentesis. So, since nakaparentesis man, so, nahon ni niyang una, ning naasa sulod sa parentesis. Okay. So, 1 or 0 is 1. Okay, again, basta si or, basta lang kay na true, mo true na na siya. Si false, pag well, pag na ay false, no, mo false na na siya. Okay? So, muna siyang, ang result, aning example is true. Next example is this one. Now, let's find, unsa gi answer ani. Uh, okay. So, we have the year value equals to 2000. Okay. And our condition is to find uh, if year is uh, modulo 4 is equals to 0 and year modulo 100 is not equals to 0 or year modulo 400 is equals to 0. Recall that modulo is a remainder. Okay? Its result is a remainder. Okay. So, Year modulo 0, so atong gibuhat, first of all, is to substitute ang value ni year, no? Para mas dali siya na to ang uh, exact na value at makita. So, we have 2000 modulo 4 equals to 0, and 2000 modulo 100 not equals to 0. 2000 modulo 400 is equals to 0. Okay. So, if 2000 modulo 4, if we... Uh, find the remainder of this. The answer is actually zero. Sa ato pa wala si remainder. So, uh, the answer for this one, this operation here, is zero. Then, ako ato man siyang gi equal kang zero, ato man siyang test if it is equal to zero. So, here it is. So, if 2000 modulo 4, the answer of this is zero. Is it equal to zero? And, kato na the rest, no? So, kanisa, left to right sa ta. So, kanya itong una evaluate Next is this one. Okay. So, 2000 modulo 100, the remainder is still 0. So, muna siya ang answer. And then, left to right. So, kanilang sa. Okay. So, the result here is 1 because 0 is equals to 0 man. Okay, so one na ni siya da yun, di ba? The next one is, kanisha, it is zero. Kay zero is not equals to zero man daw. But zero is equals to zero man. Di ba? So, this is end. So, this is end man. So, ang answer ani niya is zero. Okay, na may false, no? No? One, a true and false is always false. Kaya na may good kay false. Na may kay false nakita. And then the, oper the logical operator is end. So the final answer of that is false. Okay. Now, kanina po, si 2000 modulo 400, if it is equals to 0. So the answer is 0. Sa ato pa, wala ni siya remainder. And it is also true, no? Na 0 is equals to 0. So the answer is 1. So true. And since this is an OR statement, this is an OR statement. Takita matag 1. So, the answer is 1. So, sa ato pa, in this whole conditions, this all kanikita ng condition, the answer for this is true. Okay? So, ing ana, no? Ing ana mo mag-solve og condition sa C. Okay. So, I hope you nuggets ninyo no, ang ang dagan sa pag-evaluate o condition. Do you have any questions? Okay, na no message. I'm sorry. Okay, one. Kagani na to one. Okay, nakasabot ba ang tanan? Okay, so we have around 20 minutes left. Okay, na po tayo time. Mag-drill. So, this is the drill. Drill meaning, aw, ako mong pansiron. Okay? So, this is the value. This is a value given. X is equals to 100. Y is equals to 22. Z is equals to 330. 
your job is to find the value for this one. Okay? C1, C number 2, C number 3. O kung saan ila ang final na ang answer. Okay? Um, in ano siya? I want you to select to our Depende sa inyo ha. Huwag makansur mo sa 1, sa 2, sa 3. Okay. Uh, I-comment ang inyong answer. Dire. No? I-comment ang inyong answer. Dire. As a classroom. Tapos, I want you to take a picture of your solution and send it to our uh, GC. Okay? So, kung una, tan tanawan ako dire. Kinsa yung pangalan ang nag-send. Tanawan din ako sa GC. Maghulat ko dito. If na amoy gi-send na picture. Okay? And then, I will give it around 15 minutes, no? So, okay, nani nag-answer isa. So, number one, it says one now. Okay, so, si Sir, si Carl Shane, I will wait for your solutions at ang GC. Okay? And, katong mga first three na maka-answer, no? will have points. First three sa one, sa two, o sa three. Okay, so I will give you 15 minutes.
Okay, four minutes. Okay, four minutes left. Kuan, uh, na points tanan mag-send og solution kay I think na problem sa katong na uh, Google Meet dagay ni dagay na ka-left basig nang wala ilang internet. So, katong mga nag-send og solution through Messenger, katong akong mga gipang like karon lang na natoy mga points. Uh, pero na gid na katong pinakauna moto sila na ay katong mura mas dako dako nga points. Pwede gid isunda ko kayo. Okay? Na sila additional points katong mga nag-send og picture with solutions, katong na yung mga solution na puto sila points. So katong mga wala pa ka-send, you still have 3 minutes. And then afterwards, ako na dayang iingon ang answer ani. Yes, ma'am. Ma
Okay. So, humana no? Humana ang 15 minutes. Ay, 15 minutes ba to? Okay, so most of you got the correct answer. Congratulations. Ang una na kasendiri a og result is si Rendon for number one. Number two is si Pangkilit. And then si Justin Pandak. Ang pinakauna na kasend og picture sa ako a sa solution is si si, si Justin. Uh, so kani sila tulo. You were the top three who answered for number one. Sa number two is si Rendon Japon and then si Alcobar and si Retiza. Okay. So, um, this is the top three. And sa number three, I think may raang ni try sa number three, si Silvosa and yes, halos halos Sarah Kabok, no? Nay, naghatag sa akong solution sa number 3. Diri as a messenger. I will recheck that later. Okay. So, most of you the correct, got the correct answer. Congratulations. Okay. So, the answer for number 1 is true. No? So, kung ato siyang manumanuhon og solve, 330 is greater than 22, greater than 330, less than 100, greater than 22, less than 330. 330. So, kung ato na siyang isolve, isa-isa, makita na to, there is a pinakala zero is less than 333, which is true. So, the answer is true. Now, let's proceed to number 2. So, si number 2, nagamit na tag logical operator, that is, unahon na to, left to right, no? So, 330. So, kani akong solution diri ako na siyang giisa ang kada parenthesis no para dali na lang. Dali, mubura ang solution. So, pero left to right din siya pag-evaluate. So, anahon sa ninyo, 330 greater than 22, this is true. 330 equals to 100, which is false, but ato siyang ginat, okay? So, nahimo siya true dere. Okay? And then, 222 uh, less than 330, which is true. Again, ato ning ginat. So, may name mo false. So, left to right evaluation, 1 and 1 is equals to 1. And then, 0 na diri a. So, the answer is 1. Okay? So, sakto yung mga answer kasagari. Now, this, now, let's proceed to number 3. 3 day ni siya. Wala na ko na change ni. So, the the uh, medyo lisod ni siya, no? Kaya medyo taas-taas. And then, as you can see, wala ni siya conditions. Again, uh, conditions are just like integer manipulation from a gap on. So, kung ang result ani is integer, there will be no problem sa pag kung condition. Okay? So, ang technique na ko anis, ako personally, akong ginabuhat para di ilibog, una ako na ako ning nakaparentesis. So, as you can see, akong gi-underline na ni siya, green sa ito pa kani akong unahon. So, kana sa akong unahon pagpangitaon sa ang result. So, 330 greater than 22 and 330 modulo 22. If we uh, solve this, 330 modulo 22, the answer is actually 0. So, kung ato na siya ang end, the answer is 0. So, na natin answer aning condition dire. Now, kanina po, kaning kaduha. So, 330 is equals to 100. Is it less than 22? So, 330 equals 100. This is obviously false. So, is 22 greater than 0 is true. And then, so this is true, but we not, not manta. So, ang answer ani is false. So, again, this one is false. Okay? Now, dinita sa last, so 330 modulo 100, so we have remainder mani siya, so we have the 30 as remainder. Again, 30 is an integer, so there should be no problem with this, okay? So again, everything that is greater than 1, or everything that is greater than or equals to 1 is treated ni C as true, okay? So, dili day 1 ang true, so 2 can be considered as true, 3 as 
true tanan basta greater than 1 is true so this one is 30 man so this is considered as true okay and this one 22 is less than 330 which is true but again ato siyang ginap so nahimo ni siya og false so nahimo siya zero now 30 or zero since this is both uh, this 30 is true so sa ato pa this whole expression is uh, true so nahimo ni siya one dire but then ato naman po siyang ginap so nahimo siya zero so the entire kanitanan condition is false. Okay, diba? Sa kataas-taas, false ra dito. Okay, so, muto siya ang solution sa number 3. So, basically, the answer is for 1, 2, and 3, is this is 1 is true, 2 is true, and 3 is false. Okay, I will upload these slides later sa ato ang Google Classroom. So, para ma-review ninyo. And since marag wala naman tay time, sa atong next meeting na ta mag-discuss aning, mag-formally introduce na ko sa kaning if statement. Okay. So, ang, ang unod manggod sa if statement, ang pinaka-iyahang core is ang condition. So, it is very important mo nang ako yung gigahin ang isa ka klasihan sa condition lang is because walay gamit ang inyong if statement if wala kayo mo nakasabot o gano'n sa akong pagbuhat o sakto nga condition. Okay? So, that is all for today. Thank you sa inyong pag-participate. No? Kamuta na na points, so don't worry. Mga points. Itong wala ang connection, but was able to still send their solutions also na po to sila points. Congratulations sa katong naka-top 3, sa katong naka-answer. Okay, so that is all for today. Any further questions? Okay, so I think there well, are questions. So kung maulaw lang mong pangota na, you can ask me through Messenger. Okay, so that is all for today. So, see you on our next meeting. So, my exit na ko class. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye ma'am. Thank, Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.